people won. I uh, thank God for that. Father Lord, this morning we are here again, O oh Lord. We thank you for seeing us through all the jollification of the Christmas. And we give you glory, honor, and adoration. You count us all worthy to come back here. Thank you, Father. So many people slept last night, but this morning they couldn't wake up. But you give us the gift of life. We say thank you, Father. Be thou exalted in Jesus' name. Father, Lord, this is another week. Oh, the one that will lead us to a new year. Oh, we are changing, we are changing year, oh Lord. Father, Lord, as we are going this new week, oh Lord, be with us, oh Lord. Do not leave us, oh Lord. Father, Lord, as we are coming on this platform this morning to dine with you, feed us expressly. Let us see you anew. In your word, give us revelation. We don't want to listen to the voice of man, but your voice, O oh Lord. Speak to us. Circumcise our hearts so that we can see you more. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Once again, I say good morning and happy uh, seasonal greetings to every one of us. We thank God for counting us worthy to be part of today's ministration. Uh, I'm coming from the uh this series was next what is next yes we've celebrated the birth of our lord jesus christ then what's next what's the next thing that we need to do uh i want to start from that john three sixteen. then as the spirit will direct then we'll go in there john three sixteen. uh i want to read the king james for god so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life 17 for god sent not his son into the world to condemn the world but that the world through him might be saved 18 he that believeth on him is not condemned but he that believeth not is condemned already because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten son of god hallelujah so we want to see yes we we celebrated christmas then is the is the gift for the christian or for the world that is what i want us to first where we need to first start where we need to start from he said the the bible makes us to understand for god so loved the world it is said, for God so loved the Jews, for God loves the Hebrew, the Christians, or the pagan. No. The gift is for the whole world. The gift that we celebrated on the 25th was for the whole world. He said that for God loved the world, that he gave his only begotten son to the whole world. Now, when the gift has been given... To the whole world like a farmer that has seed in his hand and decided to go to his family and start dispersing the seeds not all the seeds that will come that will just fall down on that ground will germinate not all of them some will so will not some will even die even some will be eaten by by birds so the for god so loved the world the gift we celebrated was, was for the world but the gift is for the world but there is a condition there that whosoever oh this gift has been given unto the world but whosoever among the whole world whether the gentiles the jews the Hellenists, whatever they come from whosoever that is where the choice is now we have the choice and the only thing that God will not tamper with among the things he gave to man is the choice. The will of a man is so powerful that we can even use it against God. The will it has given unto us. We use it against ourselves, we use it against what we so and God would never tamper with it. It's your choice, it's my choice. You choose to do whatever you want to do. He won't say, you know, he will only give you the breakdown. 
then you have to make the choice. Now, this is what that's where we are now. Whosoever among the whole world that I send my son to, who among them believe in him will not perish. And that person, that human being, that group of people will have everlasting life. Hallelujah. So the world, so everybody has the whole world has celebrated the the, the, uh, the Christmas, the birth of Christ. But what's next? Because the clause is whoever believe. We believe. That is why we are called Christian. We follow him. Now, if we have if we believe in the gift that is given unto us, then what do we do with the gift? What is next with the gift we have received? What is next? If this is what he gave unto us, his son as a gift, and we are part of the people that decided make it a choice to believe on that gift, what are we doing with the gift? What is next with the gift? We see when you have somebody can give you a gift, you can just hang it, and it can be something you just want to use as a souvenir, just hang it. There are some gifts that you, if you want to go to a, an important occasion, you want to use it to show maybe it's going to add to you. There are some gifts that you just receive and you just you don't even open it, you just leave it where it is, where, where you, you just dump it somewhere. There are some gift that has, has been given to us that is in our garage now that there are some that even we, we we receive it and we give it out we give it out immediately but this gift because it is a gift to the old world but some people will believe in that gift then when they believe in that gift what are they going to do with the gift that is what is next so what's next with the gift that is in your hand what is next with the gift that is in my hand we've celebrated christ and thank god before the christmas I have a lot of teachers that has come on this platform that has taught us a lot of things that we are not celebrating the babe, but we are celebrating the Christ in us. Great men of God. In fact, that is why I love this platform so much. You will come in here, you will learn one thing. No matter how good you think you are, unless you are not teachable, because it's not everybody that is teachable. If you are teachable and you have an humble spirit, and you listen, you pick up something. But I pick, I pick so much. Because iron sharpens iron. And I love that in this platform. That's why I don't miss it. Sometimes I might not be able to comment because of where I am. But then I always make sure I listen to whatever I heard, I, I, I'm hearing on this platform. Because I know I'm picking things from it. So we are talking about the gift we have received from God now. For God so loved the world. So the gift is not for Christian alone. And I love how, how, how Bishop gave us the, 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 the exposition on it. And Dr. Bennett, everyone, wonderful. <laughs> Dr. Tanya, in fact, I, as I said earlier on, this is a very good place to, uh, to uh, a classroom, a very good classroom where you can dissect, pieces them up. This is different from what we do in our, in our various churches. If I'm preaching in my church, I preach different with both that's preaching. But this year we teach, we, we have people to even some comments after your teaching too. We even open you up to another thing that you do, you are not even thinking about. That's to tell you that we're learning every, every, every day. So we are talking about the gift that you now believe. Because when you believe on the gift that is given to you, that's when you use it. If Dr. T give me any gift now, if I don't believe in it, I can just dump it. But if I believe, I want to show that ah, this thing you gave to me, you have given me, I you have to see me. In fact, I might even put it if it's a cloth, I can even put it on and want to go where, where she is and show it to her. That oh, do you see this thing that you gave to? That is the thing. We have been given the gift now, the gift that we given to the whole world, but we that believe now have received it. What is next with that gift in your hand? What are you going to do? This is another new year that we have received again to start planning. Till another 25th of next year, 
that we need to say, okay, I, I want to take another one from God again. What is next with that gift in your hand? Are you going to just take it in your hand and just be looking at it, dump it, or you want to make use of it? Or you want to show it to the person that gave you the gift that this gift you have given unto me, I'm going to use it to the utmost power you have given unto me. As many as, as much as the power you have given unto me, I will use it into your kingdom. Because it's, when, you, when we are talking about believing and not should not pray and have everlasting life, it's not for us alone. Personally, we receive. We believe. But he now gave us the gift when we believe. That is where we want to go to now. The gift after you believe. Every time we believe, there must be a gift that follows it. Every time, if you go to the Act of Apostles, that's why the Act of Apostles was not closed. Every other book was closed, but that one, still they left, they left it open because they still know some apostles are still going to work there. And their books, their own two, they, they, they were going to write it there. So we 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 are all the apostles. We are we once we believe a gift must follow what we believe. We receive a, a universal gift, which is to the whole world. We believe on that gift. But after after we believe on that gift, what next? The one that is given unto us, what are you going to do with it? This is a new year. Let's look, let's look at those gifts I want to discuss today. I'm not going to be discussing those gifts, but I'm just going to, that, I'm going to pick one area. What that gift is meant for you to do. And if you go by what he said, it, will, it tells us, and see whether we can use it this time around differently from the way we have been using it. Because when we believe, there must be something that will take place in our life that will make us different from other people. Everybody celebrated, not everybody that received. It's only people that believe that received. And as soon as they receive the gift that is inside the real gift that was sent to the world, it's two things. There is one that is sent to the whole world that is free of charge. Pick it if you like. Spread it up. God, that's what God, God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Love the world. That is it. But those that believe we have we now receive something number one they will not perish and they will have eternal life what is that thing that will make them not to perish and have eternal life that is another thing that's a gift inside a gift and if you go by this we understand that there is still as soon as we believe you become converted he said, I believe you are, I, 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 I receive you as my Lord and Savior. Something will change it in you. You become a new being. And in that a new being, something changes inside of you. It's not, we are not talking, you, you are still going to have only one head, two hands, two legs, one mouth. But then, inside, that is where God operates from. So, inside of you, things will be different. What you cannot do before, easily, you will start doing it. What you cannot perform before, you will now start doing it. Oh, when Brother Peter, when he received, he has been with Christ. But that day, that the real gift was the, the, the real gift was really emanated, emanated from there. Don't even just sprout out in him. He became a changed person. He has been with Christ. He has he, even when when Christ died, he left. Do something else, but when the real thing that comes in our believing. In Christ, when it not came upon him, one day he won three thousand souls for Christ. That means that he became changed when he really received. It's the first thing. 
Believing with our mouth is from believing with our heart. Once our heart and our mouth join together, let the word of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable unto you. When the two of them combine together, then they will bring out the power of God in us. We can confess with our mouth until we confess with our heart. Until our heart really accept it. Then, the next thing to do we come forth. So let's look at that. Let's look at the First Corinthians chapter twelve. First Corinthians chapter twelve. Once we become, when we believe, we believe, we believe, we have been given that gift that is inside the gift. The universal gift is the spiritual gift. Once we believe. Once we believe, once we believe, then he opens us up to the inner man, to the inner man, to the inner man that will make things different from us, from, from what how we used to do it before. I'm still going to read, read King James. Now concerning spiritual grief, brethren, I will not have you ignorance. You know that you are Gentiles carried away unto the dumb idols. Even as you were led, wherefore I give to I give you to understand that no man speaking by the Spirit of God called Jesus accursed, and that no man can say that Jesus is the Lord but by the Holy Ghost. Believe for whosoever believe that is to call that Jesus is Lord. And what makes you to believe that is by the Holy Ghost which comes upon us. Which means that as soon as we really believe, something must change, must, must change in us. We are not the real person we used to be again. All things are passing before we will, everything becomes new. And if everything becomes new, then we, our spiritual gifts become activated. And now, the area I'm going to learn for so that now this there are diversity of gifts, but the same spirit, and there are different seats of administrations, but the same Lord, and there are diversities of operations, but it is the same God that worketh in all, in all. The area I want to go with is number seven. But the manifestation of the Spirit is given to every man to profit with all. What's next with that thing you have received after you have accepted our Lord Jesus Christ? I'm not talking about just your confession. The one we just celebrated, uh, because we are, uh, one of our teachers told us that is we are not celebrating the baby, but the Christ inside of us that lives in our hearts. Once we reactivated it, once we make him, once we believe more on him again, there's other gift that is going to be every time is this gift. You cannot if we are talking about nine gifts that we're talking here, how many gifts are still working in us? We can have all the nine. We can as it depends on how many, how how much time we devoted for him. If we devote more time to him, you will see that those gifts will keep on coming up. But then the question is this. What are you going to do? This is the new year. We have received our Lord Jesus Christ. It's a gift to the world. But we that believe, we have another inner gift that, that is embedded in the first gift that is given to the whole world. The whole, the whole world, they, they were celebrating baby. But we are celebrating the Christ in us. The hope of glory. And what are the things that will make that the old hope of glory to work? That is the spirit, that is the spiritual gift that is given to us, that is going to make us to walk, that will direct us, that will direct us, that will make us to move around, that will make us to be different from people. That will not allow people to look at us. Ah, what is there between you and the uh, two of us? You are just saying, you can see now as if you are nobody, but by the time the, the spirit come upon you, they will know you that you are not you are not the same person as uh, uh, as them. That is what we are looking at this morning. What is next? We have received the gift on 25th. That is spread to the whole world. And we believe in the, that gift. 
and once we believe on that gift, there must be another inner gift that will lead us, that, that will make us not to perish and that will give us an everlasting life. That one is embedded in it. That is only those people that believe that will have that one. Not the general one. And that's those ones that believe that have that one, they still need to use it to profit in the kingdom of God. So what is next with that gift in your hand? The one you the new one you have received. Some of us went on a retreat and God gave us new things. We are moving into 2022. What are you going to do? What is next? Are you going to are we going to be selling? Are we going to do it the same way we have been doing it before? If we are doing that, that, that means that we are not getting anything from this platform. If we are really getting something from this platform, this is a where we we come, we will see we have new things and we want to go back home and re, and readjust ourselves. We don't want to become the same person. Every day that God has given unto us is meant for us to improve ourselves. Every life we have is meant for us to, pro, to, pro, to, to produce, uh, to, to increase ourselves. And the time we have is for a purpose. That time that our life is made of is for a purpose. That's why we have in the, that exercise chapter 3 verse 1. So we always thought it's for the dead. No, it's for the people that are alive. So that everything has a season. We have celebrated now. That's a season. But now we have a time. If let us look at that Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 1. We have two things we have to look at there. We have season and time. 3 verse 1. Everything, to everything is a season. We have season of celebration. We have season that we don't need to celebrate. We have season to plant, season not to plant. And time to every purpose under the heaven. Purpose is tied to time. Purpose is tied to time. And the purpose for us to fulfill this purpose the gift he has given unto us is what will help us to fulfill the purpose he has given unto us that we have to fill this world and we have received what is next are we going to dump it as we used to dump most gifts or are we going to start polishing it are we to start working on it in a different form I wish to start looking, oh, I've received the, 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 the special gift that is read from the general gift. Are we, am I going to be doing it the way I used to do it before? I have to look at my life. No. I'm giving this gift in time frame of my life to fulfill a purpose. Those who believe will not perish but have eternal life. But eternal life is not only when we die. We move from, this is just a, a, a physical life. We transit. We transit from this physical one to the spiritual one. And it can be done even when you are seeing the physical. Paul said that, I went to the third heaven. It was, it, it's not, it didn't die. It transited, that is move, it movement. And it, 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 it becomes, it's because it's just how many gifts you are able to, 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 to enact in your body that can make you to get out of the physical body when you are still alive. Pick up, get out fully, fully and still come back to this body. It is power of God. You can leave the body when you are still alive. And still come back. He said, I left to the third heaven. To do what is possible. What I saw that I, I, I can't even. So, he's, that was a gift that he was able to. When he got there, he got so many things and he came back and he was having, asking for more grace. He said, No worry. That ailment, if I make, if I take it away, you become an angel. Or become they, they, they will take you as God. Let's leave it there. My grace is sufficient for you. Because he was using. He said, I kept on. I kept on. I kept on. 
working on myself. I kept on working. As any gift you received, you will start using it to the king, to, 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 to elevate the kingdom of God. Any gift, you will use it. Any gift, you said, I kept on. I'm striving like an athlete. We have received this year. Are you going to, are you going to keep it? Dump it? Or you, you are so, we are so, let me use that word, we are so relaxed in our church. And we believe that is the purpose. No. Your church is a base. The word is where you are sent to. Your church is a base. We are all missionaries. Your church is a base where you go out and come back to have a place to rest. You can be the original of Isaiah, you can be anything. That is just a base. We are not sent to that church. We are to work in that church. But the light that is given to us is to be is to the world. You are the light of the world. That is why these days we fight ourselves in the church. We want to outshine ourselves. When what we're supposed to be shining to each other should be out to the world. We have so many space in the whole world to shine that even we not we are, we are not going to be interfering with ourselves. But we come to church, we want to showcase ourselves, we want to show our big that gift is meant for the world. God did not send his gift to, 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 to the church. He sent it to the world. So that there is no space. And that is why he kept on making more. More. Because he spread it wide. Let us, the gift we have been given now, let us spread it out. We have a church, home based church. Then, what do we do with the gift? Outside that church. We are the light of the world. We have been given a gift inside a gift. That is why when we believe we have that. Then he said it is meant for us to profit with, to profit the kingdom of God, not to profit our pocket, but to profit the kingdom of God. To make to, to, to bring more people into the fold, to let people understand that God still lives. That nothing is too difficult for him to do. To make people understand that the Christ we are celebrating now is the Lord of Lord and King of King. And how would they know? If they don't see signs, if they don't see the power of God in us, they won't believe us. And that is why he gave us those gifts. That is inside the gifts. That is gave, gave to the whole world. So that by the time we talk and we, 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 we minister unto them, the gift in us, the one for healing, it will come out from the in the word of God. Some people will never give prophecy. Some people will not be they, they will not give you a vision. But when the word of God is coming out of their mouth, people will get healing. Wow, because that word. Is not coming as the, from the word of an orator. It's coming from the Holy Spirit is for the itself. Christ is said that is the word. And because the word is coming out, it will touch everybody. It's not we that most of the time we burn ourselves up. We want to convert people. We cannot convert anybody. Our own duty is to speak the word of God to them. They need to convert themselves. They have to. The Holy Spirit, when we, when it comes into their life, it will make them to believe. And they, by themselves, they make that choice. That is from the beginning. He sent His only begotten Son. That whoever He did not choose for anybody to believe. So we cannot. If whatever we cry, if God Himself did not send His Son and say, "You must believe. You it, it is now. You, if you don't believe, you are going to die." He didn't say that. But so you we make a choice. And believe on this son, you are going to live more, and your life will be so easy. And that is what is given to us to to minister. When we do that, we don't need to force anybody to do anything. But the word, the power of God that is in us, will go into their heart, go into the joint, and make all the stone in heart and turn into a fleshy one. And they themselves, as as Peter, brother Peter did on the first day. So that people said that what must we do now? And he said that believe. 
and be converted. Immediately, they receive what? The same gift you are talking now. As soon as they believe and pray for them, they say that they receive the power of the Holy Ghost. That is what is in embedded in the gift that is given into the general world. That when we believe we have other gifts that is in there, then before, but those gifts need to go out. We need to use it. If you don't use it, it becomes dumb. You see, our, our, our uh, church is too small for the gift we are carrying. I'm telling you the truth. No matter how big your church is, it's just telling you that if you have, if you have 1,000 congregation or 10,000 or 20,000 congregation, it's telling you that that is the level of the gift you have just used. Is the level you can still beat more than that? What we are carrying now is just the level of what we can think, but not the level that you can go to. So, if we now look at our physical place where we are and we are judging ourselves as okay, we have not used that gift, but if we keep on striking like Brother Paul looking for another place to, to, to minister into. So not only spiritual gift, we have other gift of giving. We have other gift of doing other apps. We have other administration. We have those gifts too. Once you are able to use them, then it turns you to become somebody else. People that look at you, they know you. They will not be wondering who is this person again. Jesus Christ, they know him. But when he started performing the miracle, they started looking at, ah, this is just this is Joseph's son. I, he was the one that helped me to do my chefs. Oh, don't do forget that when he, when uh, Mr. P was doing something, he was the one that did that that chair in that house. Those were the things they were seeing, but they, they were not seeing the inside. But when the inside came out, they become dumbfounded. So people can look at you and say, "Who is this person?" But if you allow the gift that's inside the gift. To use you to profit for the for the kingdom of God, they will see a different person. So we have all received the gift. What is next? It's an individual thing. You have to decide on what to do with it. That is God. God did not force anybody to believe. So that whoever. So even when you receive the gift, so whoever decided to use it will profit with it. I pray as we move to the next level in our race with Christ. It will empower us more in Jesus' name. Good morning, everyone.